Hello and welcome to another Star Wars World Republic video. So I'm going to show you a really fast way to level up if you do not have the new Legacy of the Sith story available on your character and currently ready to go. There is absolutely nothing that beats the experience gained from the new story with the Legacy of the Sith. As far as it goes for doing non-Legacy of the Sith content, you can do the Jedi under Siege starting with Osis and further on. Osis itself doesn't reward very good experience, but as soon as you get to Onderon and above, it rewards great experience for doing every level and it's quite fast. But this is something that a lot of players have been doing lately. I don't really suggest doing stuff like this too often. You can really burn yourself out fast if you do this too frequently and it just leads to some very kind of negative gameplay loops. But if this is your jam, definitely do it. If you just want to do it a little bit and then take a break from it, that's a much better way to enjoy the game and not get too burnt out. And you can just do, come back once in a while. Yeah, so I brought a level 75 into Nathma and it's pretty simple. All that we're going to do is we're going to be killing the final boss and then resetting. So you do have to get yourself here. Potentially you can find a group of people who are currently in the phase that you can join. We had people coming and going from this group as we leveled up additional tunes. And you can see that we're killing those crypts that protect the Gemini droid. And as soon as we've killed all the Gemini droids, the main Gemini droid boss spawns back in and we suicide, rinse and repeat. So again, you get to the point where you push the boss up, you kill all the crypts, you kill the Gemini droids that are attached to it. And then you can see I suicided. There was technically one left behind the last pillar there. I didn't notice someone was fighting it. Uh, so yeah, and then they suicided or died after. You still get the XP when you're dead, so it really doesn't matter. There's not much else to say. This is insanely fast XP gain. Just make sure you're putting on your experience boost. And one thing I didn't realize before, if you look at my buff bar now, on the bottom left, second from the left, there's a bluish icon. This is a guild perk that I manually have to click. And there's a glitch. Sometimes the bridge disappears or reappear if you wait a few seconds. Oh, I died a few times that. Yeah, there you go. Easy way to level up. Uh, right now, this is kind of the fastest thing I know of outside of doing the story itself. And really, it's actually faster than doing the Onderon story. So, especially if you can find a group that has an active thing going so you don't have to fight through all the bosses to get to the final boss. As always, have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.